what's going on guys Gabe the Bronx legend here I want to welcome you guys to a new video of money Vader mornings this is just a preview of what the show has to bring today we're going to cover LeBron James congratulations for becoming the first active NBA billionaire today he reached the 1 billion worth um, June 2nd 2022 and this video is going to cover some of the investments he's made, some of the endorsements, and how he reached that uh, pinnacle of billionaire status. Okay? So let's start off with the fact that he's had a 19-year career. You know, he's played for Cleveland, Miami, as well as the Lakers, who he is currently playing for. Uh, he's a four-time NBA champion, two-time Olympic gold medalist, 18-time NBA All-Star. And he earned a total of $121.2 million last year, according to Forbes. And they definitely have officially became, um, said that he's a billionaire while he's still playing. Okay, he's 37 years old. And he's the only other player besides Michael Jordan to reach the billionaire status, except Michael Jordan did it 10 years after um, with a great investment into the Charlotte Hornets at the right time. Um, that's how he became an actual billionaire. Um, LeBron James to do it while he's actively playing. It's an amazing feat. He's a, he's a family man. No, no bad press, no bad media, except for maybe the decision, which um, kind of started this whole media empire that he has now. So I just want to bring to fact that the, the fact that his NBA stats, I mean, the question is, who's the best of all time? He's up there in the conversation. Um, a lot of people question the fact that he didn't win all these rings. However, you know, at the same time, just to get to the NBA championship so many times should deserve a, a huge amount of respect as well. Jordan won six rings, played six times in the NBA Finals. Very admirable. Kobe lost one. But... The fact that LeBron James um, has been there so many times, it's, it's an amazing feat. Uh, after 19 seasons, this is the, fir the, the fourth season he didn't reach the playoffs, which is pretty impressive. But let's just go a little bit more into details. Um, as you can see, I have the stats here on the board. He's played a total of 1,366 games. He started 1,365. Um, minutes per game is 32. He's uh, 38 minutes per game is 38.2. Field goal percentage is 5.505. 5, uh, three point percentage is 0.346. Free throw percentage is 7.34. He averages seven and a half rebounds per game for his career. Assists 7.4 and uh, 1.6 steals per game. 0.8 blocking per game. And of course, his uh, Points per game average is 27.1. That's very impressive stats. However, what's a little bit more impressive is what he's done outside of the court, which, like I said, for him to become a billionaire, it's a huge feat. And some of the companies that have endorsed him, originally he came in, um, signed with Coca-Cola. Uh, Coca-Cola couldn't afford to keep him around uh, around the pandemic. so. He ended up signing a new lucrative deal, which unfortunately the figures aren't aren't out with Pepsi. Um, so now he's a spokesman for Pepsi. He also deals has deals with Nike, which is a, a lifetime deal he has, which rakes in about thirty two million a year, guaranteed for the rest of his life. Um, he does have a, a AP watch deal. He also has deals with McDonald's, Dunkin' Donut brand, and State Farm. Those are just endorsement deals. And it's continues to, 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 to grow. He also has AT&T. He has Walmart. You know, huge deals. He rejected offers from Reebok and Adidas to stick with Nike. Um, and he's been with Nike since, since he, came in, he came out. So when we talk about his endorsements, uh, let me get into a little bit more of the endorsements side of it. He's basically been 
uh, prom- promoting AT and T, PepsiCo, Walmart. I didn't read that already. I'm sorry about that. Um, he has also has Beats promoted with the Beats Beats by Dre, um, which is part of his investments as well. Potentially, let's go to the investments because it's it's a pretty impressive amount of investments. Okay, so let's start off with the number one investment that's basically huge. The Spring Hill Company. Spring Hill, Spring Hill Company, which is actually um, named after the apartment complex he was raised in Akron, Ohio. So right now the company is currently worth $300 million. Um, it did it. It's from movies and shows, which he has the shop, which is a very uh, highly watched show for HBO. He also has um, Survivor's Remorse, which uh, finished in 2017, but did very good for stars. Of course, Space Jam, The New Legacy, is, uh, which grossed $162.8 million through theaters and streaming apps during the pandemic, which is pretty good. Um, some sponsorship deals that also that he has is 2K Sports. He has a company with Calm, GMC. Uh, Remowa and Beats, of course. Okay, so fast forward to 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 the investments. Okay, the huge investments is Blaze Pizza. He has nineteen Blaze Pizza locations throughout the United States. His Blaze Pizza investment was about roughly one million dollars, and now the the company's worth about. 25 million, which is pretty nice little uh, lucrative profit there. Um, Spring Hill, Spring Hill Company worth 300 million, and they have a lot of more projects coming through. They have deals with CNN, um, which the first deal was with ESPN, which was the whole decision. Um, the fact that he was able to capitalize his decision and make it the empire it is, I mean. Nobody else has done that. So you know, congratulations to him for that and his family uh, because now look where he's at. Um, house Party, I, I, I found out today, the House house Party will be coming back. Um, it's like the remake of the 1990 House Party where Kid and Play, which, you know, legendary. So he, that's, that's something to look forward to for the future. Um, other investments, he, he has an investment with Fenway Sports Group, which is uh, the, com- the company that owns the Boston Red Sox, owns Fenway Park. They own a uh, minority stake in Liverpool, English Premier Lock- um, League Soccer. They also have um, Roosh Fenway Racing, the New England Sports Network, and... They agreed to pay about nine hundred million to add the Pittsburgh Penguins to his portfolio, which is, you know, he has a one percent stake in the group. Um, don't know exactly what the stats are on the one percent, but you know, it says Fenway Sports Group is worth ninety million. So at one percent, Over ninety million. Which is roughly a million nine hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars um made from this investment with them and he owns a minority stake in all these teams, which is pretty cool. Then you have the um in real estate he has roughly about eighty million. Uh he lives. They say he lives like a billionaire. Uh, he owns at least three properties worth about eighty million in all. He has a ten million dollar mansion near his hometown in Akron, Ohio, and he bought an eight bedroom spread in Los Angeles in two thousand seventeen for twenty three million. His uh, you know his latest splurge is a Beverly Hills mansion for thirty six point seven five million in the nineteen thirties hilltop home, and he's already torn it down to replace him with a mansion of his own. Okay. Like I said, Pete Blaze Pizza was actually worth thirty million. He owns nineteen of those. 
Then he has uh he's also had a big profit of the sale that when Apple paid three billion dollars for Beats by Dre, he was a spokesperson and owned a small amount of it. And he also has shares in Beach Body, which was acquired recently. So, you know, he's made some, some money off of that. And he has a sport nutrition company that he co founded with Arnold Schwarzenegger in 2020 for 28 million. I mean, that's, that's more than 500 million in cash and other investments to, to break down the billion. So you got basically 500 million from cash and other investments. You have 30 million from Blaze Pizza, 80 million from real estate, 90 million from the uh, Fenway Sports Group, which is the total assets, and Spring Hill Valley for 300 million. And this breaks down in becoming an official billionaire because in NBA total earnings, he's made. Okay. 121.2 million over the past year was his earning. Uh he had a he just finished up a two year eighty five million dollar deal with the Lakers and he has earned three hundred eighty seven million dollars in the last nineteen years of salary in his playing career. Uh Forbes also reports that he earned an additional for the 900 million in endorsements and investments since he's entered the league in 2003. So he's officially a billionaire. I mean, my take on it is um, LeBron James is well-deserved, um, very great player to watch, uh, family-oriented, earns the respect he gets. Um, of course, fans will always respect and disrespect people the way they want. But, you know, um, after a certain point, there should be a, a respect for somebody who's put in that hard work and effort. And I, f I feel like LeBron James has done that. When he went to Miami, I didn't like it. I thought it was a, a, a weak move. But, you know, it worked out better for him because he learned how to play better. You know, um, with, with better teammates, he learned how to improve himself. And it led to him winning and bringing the championship finally home to Cleveland, which was his dream come true, basically, from what he, he has said in the past. He also has a son who's um, looking at a, at a, being a top draft pick in the near future um, with all the hype he's getting in high school, and, which is Bronny James. So, you know, my stance on LeBron James, man, I think when all said and done, by the time that the, the, this guy who's 37 right now is 50 years old, I mean, I could see him easily being worth three to five billion dollars with the way he's moved. I mean, he's done great investments. He's uh, he's he's worth it, man. And he's got a few more years left. He did say he would love to finish his career playing with his son, but whoever drafts his son might be um getting LeBron James for very cheap. Which is the reason why, you know, all these earnings are, are very important. But let me let me let me give you a little list of let me give you a little list of um, shows. Of shows that the company it has rolled out and is rolling out. Okay, so Space Jam Legacy, new a new legacy twenty twenty one. Warner Brothers, so that was the deal with Warner Brothers. House Party is coming 2022. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when, but that's coming straight to HBO Max. Um, a show named Hustle. It's with Adam Sandler, Queen Latifah, Ben Foster, and Robert Duvall. It's going straight to Netflix, and that should be um, 2022 as well. So he has two big movies coming soon um, with Adam Sandler in one of them, and the other one would be Jacob Lattimore and Tosin Cole. I'm not sure who those people are. Then you have for television, he has um, Survivor's Remorse, Two Stars, The Wall, 
We have The Wall, which is an American television game show airing on NBC, which premiered on December 19, 2016. Oh, yeah, I've heard it. The show is hosted by Chris Hardwick, who also serves as executive producer on the show, along with LeBron James, Maverick Carter, and Andrew Glassman. The one thing I, I, gotta, I also got to give him credit for is his hard work not only put him in a great position, but Maverick Carter has also put himself in a great position. Uh, Maverick Carter has been seen on the show a few times. Um, the barbershop and the shop, the barbershop show, um, you know, he has a big input in there. And he's basically been partners throughout his career with LeBron, and they've known each other since childhood. So, you know, shout out to both of them for, for keeping, you know, the, the, the family vibe together. Okay. He also has Million Dollar Mile, which is an American obstacle course that, that was in 2019. He has Self Made, which is an uh, American drama stream television, streaming television limited series based on the biography on, on Her Own Ground by Alilia Bundu. And he has The Playbook, a docuseries starring Patrick uh, Murugatru. Glenn Doc Rivers, Jill Ellis, Jose Moreno, and Don Staley. That's through Netflix as well. And then the crossover should is to be announced. And it's a upcoming sports drama. So yeah. That's LeBron James, Spring Hill Company, Los Angeles Lakers, Cleveland Cavaliers, Miami Heat. I mean the guy's done it all, man. Uh it's been great to watch him. Um a lot of respect to him. You know, and all I can see is better for the future. You know? So, hold it on. Let's see what happens in the next few years. If his um, playing abilities stay stay high or if he starts fading away like the greats. You know, Jordan was great at one point. Unstoppable. And there was a certain point where Adam Iverson crossed him over. So, who's going to do it to LeBron next? I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um, check out for when the new show starts, Motivated Mornings. Um, you know, this is just a preview, the set, the way it's going to look. I want to make sure, you know, um, we see how everything works here. But I want to thank you guys again. All right, let's have a good one.